Hi guys, Marcia here. I'm the painter at Loot and this video is very special for us. This is the Cyberpug, our first sci-fi mini. He is a bounty hunter alien pug with four arms and a big gun. Pretty cool, right? In this video, I will teach you how to paint this mini with very simple techniques. I will paint the 75mm one, but you can do the same process with the 32mm. I hope you have fun. Let's do it! First, I will apply a black primer. Then, I apply white color to do the Zental Primer technique. This way we can see where the lights and shadows should be. And the paint becomes more saturated over white color. That is a good point. I use a CD Putty mask to protect the guns because I don't want it white. So, I will use black primer as a base coat for the guns. I mixed ultramarine, turquoise and black. I'm applying this dark blue as a base coat for the clothes. The base coat is always a dark color. The next step is using lighter colors each time to give it volume. This way, I will keep this dark blue in the dark areas to make the shadows. Now, I'm using dark brown with a little black to paint the base coat of the dog skin. I'm applying deep brown as a base coat for these leather details. Here, I would like to be reddish, so I'm using dark flesh tone first. To make the belt different, I'm using dark flesh tone mixed with black. A simple and helpful technique is wash. A very diluted paint enters into the deepest part helping to give volume because it makes shadow and increase contrast. They are ready for use washes, you can make one, or in my case I'm using a product that I mix with any paint to make it washable. After I apply the wash, it is essential to wait for it to dry to continue painting. You can spend time using hair dryer carefully not to move the wash. I usually wait for it to dry enough to use the hair dryer to finish. Another cool technique is the dry brush. You remove the excess paint and apply the brush almost dry. This way the color will be just in the highest part. As the wash, it helps to give volume and show the tails. I'm doing this here in the metal part using metallic acrylic paint. Black metal. Now, I will start lightening. I added turquoise and the previous blue mixture. This time I will cover almost everything, keeping the darker blue as a shadow in the darker parts. After the deep brown, I'm applying deep orange in these details. Here, I'm painting with deep red. I started lightening the dog's skin with orange brown, and I will apply the same color to the rest. I continue lightening the clothes now with a lighter shade of blue. I mix it turquoise and blue green. The next tone will be pure blue green. Each time I add a lighter tone, I cover less space as a gradient. I'm using my brush dryer as usual 
to do a faster paint and I'm not worried about doing a delicate transition. To keep lightening the leather details, I mixed yellow to deep orange. The next color that I use for the skin is ochre brown. The red here isn't so saturated, so I'm applying another layer with pure deep red. I added even more yellow to the previous mixture. This time I'm using pure yellow. And now I mix it yellow with pale sand to make it lighter. I'm using pastel blue to highlight the blue clouds, mixing it with blue green until the pure pastel green and the lighter specific areas. This contrast gives volume and makes the painting more interesting. Here I'm highlighting with deep red mixed with pale sand. To look like a pug, I will add black to the nose and the mouth. And also the ears. I'm applying dark blue to be a shadow under the ears. I will use a fluorescent color, techno green, to make it more interesting. To become more saturated green, I will paint with white first. Then I apply the fluorescent green. To highlight, I'm using a little of lemon yellow. To intensify the fluorescent green effect, I left the surrounding area very dark with black. And to highlight the black, I'm applying a light gray. I start the teeth with medium flash and then pale sand to make it lighter. I'm applying white to highlight the metal and before the fluorescent green in these details. For the base, I will start with a light gray. Next, I applied a black wash to show the details. Here, I'm using black metal and applying pure white to highlight. Almost finished, I will just add some lighter colors in some details. Like pale sand mixed with ochre brown, in the skin to highlight it even more. I want a fluorescent effect here in the base, so I'm starting with white to make it more saturated. I added lemon yellow in the middle. And as a final touch, I'm applying black to fix the lines. Don't forget the tail! That's it guys! I hope you enjoyed the video and have fun painting your cyberpunk! If you painted this mini and post on social media, don't forget to tag us. We would love to see your work. Bye bye!
and see you the next one.